some tips for using watercolour paints. Although you need water to activate the watercolour paint, you need to also ensure that you wipe your paintbrush on the lip or the edge of the cup so your paintbrush is not too drippy. Too much water and the colour won't be bright enough. The darker you want the colour, the more you might have to go back into the palette. The more water you use, the lighter the colour will be. You can see the colour getting a lot lighter here. So if you want it darker, go back into the palette and get some more pigment and colour on your paintbrush. You can also use the sponge to dab some of the extra water off your paintbrush. Watercolour paints can be blended very effectively. If your paint strokes start to get very scratchy, you might need to add some more water and some more pigment. When cleaning your paintbrush, stirring or turning is enough to clean it. We will see absolutely no splashing the water cups. You must also ensure that when you're getting the pigment, you're not flicking that colour out. Have a look what happens. You might flicker over someone's work or on their skin. When you're changing colours, you must make sure you wash your paintbrush in the cup. We will not see mixing colours in the palettes. It's okay to mix a little bit on your paper to blend the colours, but not mixing in the palettes. If you are mixing colours on your paper, be sure you know what two colours mix together and make. For example, yellow and purple mix together to make brown. Probably one of my main tips is make sure you don't go over the paper too many times. If you start getting these darker little spots, that is the paper pilling and you've gone over the paper too many times. Another tip we're trying not to do is adding too much water. If there are puddles or pools on your paper, they will drip and run so we cannot have too much water. <laughs> 